Let's go, White. Come on. All set, timer. Right from the start. Come on, Carson. Green. Green. What time is it? Game time. Game time. Yeah, Chay Z, New York. Wild Bill Chase, Calvin Cast time for Hometown Cable. We got boys varsity soccer action. The Eagles hosted the Bobcats. Class D school of the Eagles against the Class C powerhouse. <laughs> Bill Chase filling in for Joey Trombley. He's out of town. And Calvin was saying it's kind of ironic. Joey Trombley was at NAC to do that game when the Bobcats hosted the Eagles. Ball goes out of bounds. We got a goal kick. We got no ball chasers. Mr. Darkross, you got to chase balls. <laughs> and we're going to have a, a Mr. Smart. We got Ethan Warwick. He's the sweeper out there. Casper the friendly the barge. Number 17 for the Bobcats. So number 11, Brett Jutman. Cody Perrier. What number is he? 10? Yep. Oh, he looks like he's getting bigger. <laughs> Grown up. He's all grown up. <laughs> he looks taller than last year. <laughs> Amy. Who's this Shay Z with the ball? Number 13, we've got uh, Hostler. 10 being uh, Hunter Bayshard. Hunter Bayshard. That's a, I like that name. Hunter. It's got a ring to it. Hunter Bayshard. The sweeper here, number two, is a Trombley. His nickname is Big Game. Big Game. <laughs> Big Game Hunter Bayshard. I like that. We're good, We're good. like that. John Sterling. <laughs> Yankee baseball on tonight. Fifth game. Where a loser goes home. Boston Red Sox fired their head coach today. The manager is called. The manager. The manager. That's what I had a position for as the manager of Lime Mountain Miners for a few years. I didn't get fired though. <laughs> you left on your own terms? I left on my own terms. I'm going to get fired out of the Republican Party. Have you heard about that? No. You didn't see me on Channel 5 the other day? No, I didn't see that. <laughs> I went to uh, Patty Waldron's uh, press conference. And she's a Democrat running in Area 6, I think it is, Saranac against Bob Butler. Yeah. Bob's a big guy. Yeah. Be careful. Yeah, well, <laughs> some Republican officials called me the next day. They saw me on TV and asked me what I was doing there. Spying. <laughs> well, I've talked to Patty Waldron, who doesn't even service my area more than I've talked to the guy that does service our area over the last four years. <laughs> we won't get any names. No, we won't get any names. Cross into the middle, work. Taps it to the outside. Number 19 for the Bobcats, that's Zach Miller. The rumor has it they're going to kick me out of the Republican County Republican Party or committee. They have the meetings anyways that I hardly go to. <laughs> I ponder whether I should drive all the way down to town of Plattsburgh in the middle of February. So now, they want to give me the boot? Okay. But I told him, you know, it's my right. I can make that choice if I want to go stand there next to Harry McManus, Pete Keenan, and who else is there? Uh, Sam Dyer. He was there. He's running for town supervisor in the town of Beatman Town. Yeah. When they got supervisor in the field or something on the poster. <laughs> man in the field or something like that. Man in the field. That's it. Patty Waldron, well, you know what she's got on her posters. She's got a... Uh, Friend of Bill Chase. No. <laughs> no. She's got a donkey, which is the symbol for the Democratic Party, and she's got the elephant, which is the symbol for the Republican Party. Uh -oh. She's running on a, you know, trying to, you know, get people to work together. And I was holding the sign so they can, you know, with the Republican elephant. You were holding the sign? Yeah. <laughs> you didn't say that part. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't make it in the newspaper, though. They cut me off. I was standing next to, uh, oh, Mike Mannix. Mike Mannix made a comment about not standing next to somebody. Oh, oh, Mar Marty Mannix. Yeah. Mike's dead. 
Okay, excuse me. Marty Mannix. He made some comment about standing next to somebody I could forget who it was or, you know, so he wouldn't be in, the, in his shot, in his, uh, it was a bad guy or something, but so he ends up standing next to me and I'm <laughs> I'm the guy who was getting my name in the paper to. <laughs> <laughs> they were laughing at him. Who's that, Lambert? Number 14? I forgot. Yeah, Cody Lambert. The program, though. All right, let's go back to soccer and uh, politics. Well, one thing about doing the games with you, Kelvin, I get a break from all that crap. <laughs> Come here and watch some soccer. Well, but I've had some somebody telling me I couldn't be campaigning here before I got up here in the booth. It's Ike Miller with the ball. He's being watched by uh, Hostler. Hostler. Steps around Miller, wins that 50-50 ball. One of the captains, number five, that's uh, McCauley. McCauley steps through two Bobcat defenders. Passed inside. Oh, there's the phone, Calvin. Uh-oh. It's not my wife, though. Shot. Woo. Looking for the short side. Not quite sure who it is. We'll just, just take a look. No, it's Don Lorman. Yeah, I told you it was Donald. <laughs> <laughs> well, Donald Trump of Keysville, Don Lorman. <laughs> I can't talk to you right now, Don. Jutton in. So, oh, how many times is that? Four? I don't know. What's the record? <laughs> I don't know. I said it. <laughs> I should know. <laughs> Explains a lot. <laughs> <laughs> One too many headballs. <laughs> All right, you know. Huh? They don't allow that heading anymore in youth in soccer. <laughs> They're the poster boy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, One too many headballs. Macaulay. Stop. Now Don, there's Don Lorman now sending me a text. <laughs> well, we got a corner kick coming up. Yeah. Brendan. Well, last night we had NAC and Chase Z -E, girls varsity action. <laughs> Bobcats blew some great scoring chances and ended up had a one nothing lead, got tied up at six minutes and thirty three seconds left on a penalty kick. Then Shay Z poured in four goals in the, the double overtimes. Cody Perrier, he's battling with number that seven. King. Hayden King. Is that uh is that Willie King? Is there, is there a Willie King over here to play soccer? Dickie. Dickie King, yeah. Is it his son? Yep. Ah. Oh. Hi, Dickie King. Speaking of Dickie King, there's another guy that kicked me. <laughs> 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 Playing soccer in Summer Soccer League. He had more elbows and knees flying when he was running. You didn't want to get too close to him. <laughs> <laughs> well, he was a hustler. And when he went after the ball, he was tenacious about it. What do we got? Buzzards over there circling around? Yeah. Yeah, those aren't the geese. Those, there's some buzzards there. Yeah. Over there in the... Beyond the Drew cornfield. Learned that last night. All that cornfield out there, they feed that to the chickens. Actually, you can smell that cornfield tonight, can't you? Yeah, smell something. It smells like chicken. I smell like I just drove by Drew's. <laughs> <laughs> chicken farm. You mean that in a nice way, though, right? Right, yeah, I know. Well, what do you expect? I mean, they got how many chickens there? Five, six hundred at least. Oh, I think more than that. <laughs> it ain't that bad. Look at those buzzards. I smelled the uh, cow manure in Ellenberg worse than that chicken crap. <laughs> Some of that liquid stuff. <coughs> you know what them kids in Ellenberg used to do when my kids were growing up? They'd bring that liquid manure up on, what's that day before Halloween? Cabbage night. Spray that on people. No. Yeah. No. It's off the head of Moke. Perrier taps it. 
to Lambert. Lambert, watched by uh, Trombley. Lambert still with the ball. That's blocked. Nice defensive play there by Trombley. He goes into the keeper who happens to be Ben Norcross. Did you want me to read the lineups? It's up to you, Bill. It'll be nice, but I'm not going to put any pressure on you. It'll be nice. And they're all typewritten, so you can't play. All right. Writing. Is it Jordan Rattel or Rattel? <laughs> Rattel. Rattel? Isn't there a hockey player named Rattel? Yeah, back in the 70s. He's number one. Nathan Trumbley's number two. Tristan Connors, number three. Eli Moak, number four. Josh McCauley's five. Heather Lucas, Heather Heath. <laughs> and he's standing down below me. <laughs> Sorry about that, Heath. Short for Heather. Yeah. <laughs> Hayden Kings, number seven. Carson Wallfield, number nine. Hunter Bayshard, big game Hunter Bayshard, number 10. Alex Chapman, number 11. Bruce Juno, number 12. Brendan Hostler, number 13. Brian McPhee, McAfee, 14. Justin Collins, 16. Aiden Hercho? How do you say? Adrian? <laughs> Huckerow. 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 17. What's his first name? Looks like Aiden to me. Aiden? I was like, you know, yo, Adrian. <laughs> yo, Aiden. <laughs> so Joshua Bouchard. Yep. Rashad Blake. Bouchard's 18. Perrier. He's got three Z people and him. Preston Lawrence, number 24. Connor Morris. He's a captain, I guess. Number 25. Kyle Calhoun, 26. Calhoun. Calhoun. Matthew Parrott, number 30. McLean, oh, I can't say that one. Dudiak. Dudiak, number 31. Ben Crosscross, you know, Norcross is the keeper. Head coach is Rob McAuliffe. Assistant coach is John John Tragen. I got a, is that, uh, what's his name? What was that Tragen there? Athletic director, sports guy. Never heard of him. Tom, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I played soccer with him. He played with Lion Mountain. Did he kick you? Nope. No, he never kicked me. <laughs> he was on our team. Jerry Hamlin. Oh, that's when old Gary Ryan was playing soccer. Up in for Lion Mountain. Now he he pretend, tells everybody he's from Plattsburgh. <laughs> Disavows his roots. Right, right. Okay, the NAC, we got Lucas Smart. He's the keeper. With the ball is Cody Perrier, number 10. Dylan Chase is two. Craig Bullers is five. Matt Nephew is six. Nah, 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 nah. There's a Tom and Jerry cartoon. Remember with the guy that played the little guitar? And nah, nah. you know, he always said, nah, 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 Nephew. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> well, we get back to them cartoons again, Calvin. <laughs> Brett Jutton is 11. Oh, Liam Dixon's eight. Ethan Works, 12. There's Casper, the friendly LaBarge. Lambert can't control it. Picking up the loose ball, number 16 for. That's Collins. Collins is looking for his teammate, number three, uh, Connors. Oh, Tristan Connors. I believe that's Corey Connors' son, right? Yes. Okay, yeah. Corey Connors played soccer in Northern Adirondack. Played his youth soccer for me in Lime Mountain, New York. That's why you see Paul Gilmore here. Yeah. For well, this guy's got, you know, he's got Lime Mountain roots. Hey, just open up a little bit. No wonder a Shazy team's so good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where were we? Were at, uh, Cody Lambert, 14. Connor Cody's 15. Jacob Allen's 16. Well, these are Bobcat people. Casper, the fr uh, friendly Labarge, 17. Reed Lajway's 18. Zach Miller's 19. Nolan Knight is 20. Devin Burnell is number 21. And Christian Ganya, Ganya, yeah. 22. All right. Somebody changed the A to a, or the O to an A in that family. Chris Gagno, didn't he play? He played for Shazzy. Chris Gagno? No, he played for Northern Seastern. Yeah, Northern Seastern. Yeah, Northern Seastern. Was it? Yeah. Told me you never heard of Chris Gagno. I thought there was a... Matt Gagno here. What was back when my son was playing? I thought it was a Gagno for Shazzy. 
Matt. No, it was Chris something for Shay Z. Gone deck. Gone deck. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I had the first name right. <laughs> gone deck. Gone yo. Oh, okay. Same, same. Yeah, I don't know. You know what they say. Everybody in Clinton County is related. <laughs> One way or another. Oh! <laughs> yeah, there's a little push by a jutting in. Well, I don't know. I think he fell down, too, a little bit. A little <laughs> embellishing there. Yeah, but he did have his arm out. Well, yeah. Okay. We'll give him that. Collins. Okay. Trombley is going to set the kick here. Oh, we're about to, oh, I don't know, big field here. 110 yards long, 55 yards wide, right? Something yeah, like that. When I was playing soccer, it was only 100 yards long and 50 yards wide. The only goal I can remember scoring was in Danamora. <laughs> 25 to Captain Morris. Keeper smart. It's tangled up there with a, the other, one of the other captains. It was number five, wasn't it? McCauley. They're playing a little... A lot of soccer in between the 18s here right now so far. We've got uh, 23 minutes and 40 seconds left in the first half. No score. We've given you the whole roster of both teams. Talked about cartoons, politics. Oh, well, jeez. Didn't mention the cool temperature. Didn't mention the cool temperature. It's an October night. Yeah, it might get some frost tonight. Compared to last night, we were here in shorts and tank tops. Tank tops. Tonight, Calvin's got his gloves on, winter coat. I've got three layers on myself. Got my Yankee uh, hoodie on with my Yankee green Yankee hat I picked up in Yankee Stadium. Blocked by Warwick. Nice job. Number seven, King, trying to make that run. Reed Lashway. Judd in. That Collins guy knocked down a few minutes ago. Lambert. On, He's waiting on, for the ball there. The Shazy defender coming up behind him. Ball's touched to big game hunter. Work. Feeling each other out, I think, here in the early going so far. <laughs> okay, number 16 coming in for the Bobcats. Jacob Allen. He looks like he's got some height to him. Does he play basketball? I don't remember ever calling his name. Yeah, maybe. Gradient. 13. <laughs> no. That's his number. Oh, his 16. Let's see. Let's see. I've got to unfold this all the way. Mr. Allen. He's a senior. No, he's never played basketball. No. Lambert. Well, there's just Lambert, too. Does he ever, ever play basketball? I don't know. I don't think so. He's another. He's got some height, too. The numbers. Northeastern. All the tall guys play hockey. Oh. <laughs> he's a ninth grader. He might be. That's all. Ooh, he's young. Oh, we didn't mention uh, Damian Nevada. He's the head coach for the bad guys that are here tonight. Northern Adirondack Bobcats. He's a former Eagle. <laughs> former Eagle. Yeah. Hey, let's win the first one. So that means Rob McAuliffe's his mentor. Yeah. This is zero. How do you keep pushing? Yeah. What do we got? Come on, Hayden. Win the first one here. Throw in. Oh, that way. Where is he? Still looking for the ball. <laughs> okay. Don't see them flip throws anymore, do we? No. I don't know who used to be good at that was that. Uh, John Soden. Okay, lock it in. Yeah, Soden, but hey, for hey, NAC, hey, he was uh, the guy lock we talked about oh. after the, the scoreboard. Seguin. Seguin. Justin Seguin, wasn't it? Jason? Or Jason. Well, I got the J right. What's his JV girls? Does he? Where? NAC. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, I didn't know it either until uh, last weekend. <laughs> okay, good for him. 
Another guy used to be able to throw it. To, uh, there's a guy named Glenn Petrushin. Yeah, but he didn't have to flip it. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't even know that. Petrushin graduated in 73. I was alive in 73. Yeah, well, there was no hometown cable. <laughs> I couldn't go to a game. He <laughs> <laughs> Lazray. Can't get there. McCauley did. And ends up losing it to Casper. LaBarge. LaBarge. Oh, I stole one away. My, uh, my kid that got knocked down. What's his name? Justin Collins. <laughs> Morris taps it outside, on the far left side. Jacob Allen tripping up, uh, I think it was number six, Lucas. Go ahead. Hunter. Come a bit Nathaniel there. Trombley. He gets sent up the field. Hanging back is Eli Moak. What happened there? I got, I got blocked or off? Yeah. Off the NAC player? Yeah. Well, Allen. Is it Allen? Yeah. He tripped up the guy, then he makes the block on the direct kick. That's good. See his height there. Yeah. Nate Bilo, what's the matter with you? This guy has not played basketball for you. Uh, I found George. George Brendler? Yeah. Yeah, we're at the George Brendler Field here on this cool Wednesday, October 11th night. Right in the center. He's right, right in the center? Yeah. Okay. Come on, Hayden. I'll go over and get his. Come buy me a Michigan. <laughs> okay. Maybe I'll get Coyier to buy me a Michigan. Steve Tilton bought me one last night. <laughs> I just went with a senior citizen special at uh, Mainly Lobster Wednesday nights. You get the. Young guys like you get senior citizens? Well, you can get the senior pot roast or the Come senior haddock. For nine ninety five, dessert included. How old you gotta be? I don't, I don't. I think you, even an old, uh, even a young guy like you can get it. <laughs> Am I about your age, Bill? <laughs> no, they don't ask you your age. Uh oh, that's a goal. Number three, Tristan Connors, picking up a loose ball inside the eighteen, and he just taps it into the corner of the net. Smart with no chance at all. One nothing to score. We saw a similar opportunity last night, and the girl belted it. Right. <laughs> she blasted it and missed. She blasted it, NAC girl. 17.42 on the clock, and Shay Z has the one nothing lead. Come on, White. Oh, did he mention it yet? No, he didn't. Oh, Are we on the air? We're on the air. Oh, we got to mention their referees. They're in their October uniforms, orange and black. We got Jay Hamilton and uh, Jimmy. Uh, Jimmy Barron, after the restart. It's a one nothing lead for Shay Z, Wild Bill Chase, Calvin Castine, our hometown cable. I mean, it really seemed like an uneventful game here that was going, I mean. But, got to, Shay Z capitalized on their opportunity. Ball, I don't know, number five got the assist. Oh, or was, yeah, Josh McCauley. Bicycle kick goes out of bounds. Collins got his head on that, but he took a shot too. I don't know. Might have. What's up with it? No, no ball chasers. It used to be a geez. I was growing up. If you could be the ball chaser. <laughs> yeah, but, well, I think it went in the cornfield because Mr. Norcross was down. Oh, he got it. Oh. Okay, Casper hey. Labarge. Hey. <laughs> <You> know, hey. <laughs> hey, I agree, Rob. Hey, <laughs> he got away with one there. <laughs> I'd have called that one. Casper Labarge with a push and, a, and a, getting, a, getting his head on the ball. Neither official. It's all both hands on his back. <laughs> well, the Shay Z player, that is. 
Well, don't they say? Sometimes you feel like a nut, and sometimes you don't. <laughs> it's off what? No, it's off in NAC. Big game, Hunter with the throw in. Oh, there's that work kid. It's gotten tougher. It's all that life garden. Life garden, yeah. Made him water some plants this summer too, sometimes, and some manual labor helping out the. Lawns and Grounds girl at the uh, town hall. <laughs> Hunter Bayshard steps in front of that. Jay Z has kept NAC from making too many attempts to get on the field into their end, that's for sure. That's cleared away. Cody Perrier to LaBarge. LaBarge. Puts it out to space. Bayshard is going to get there before Reed Lajway. Green at half. Spalding soccer balls. That's interesting. Tapped in the middle. You got to move that quickly. Nice defensive play by Moak. Wayshard's going to be pressured by Jutton and Jutton in. Got a sliding, uh, sliding tackle. Knocks the ball deep into the corner here on the left side. Bayshard. That's over the head of Lajway. We're going to call that a handball. Okay. Number five, uh, McCauley. See, it's usually the girls do the ball duties in the boys' game, and balls. Are the You're right, right. That's the way. Uh, when you usually that's what you do. Or you should get some JV players. They got JV team. Yeah, well, you just got done a game, so it might be tired. Yeah. Well, they're young. If I could stand up here and do the play-by-play, -play, they could chase balls at my age. <laughs> McCauley turned it down to Tristan Connors. Oh, he's a lot faster than his father, that's for sure. <laughs> Corey didn't have that kind of speed. <laughs> Collins heads it up to uh, McCauley. McCauley's got that armband. I should remember his name. Morris and him are captains. Number 25. It's going to come into the arms of Smart. Twelve and a half minutes left here in the first half. Shazy on top by a score of one to nothing. Hey, we're stretched here. We're stretched. Hey, come on. Coach McAuliffe says they're stretched. But they still outnumber NAC by like two to one. <laughs> they got their defensive end well covered. Work. His head's right to the foot of number three. Connors. Is that Connors? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, he was over here on the right side. Now he's back over on the left side. He's all over the place, that Connors kid. Amazing. Travis Connors. That's his uncle. Corey's brother. Oh, we got some kind of call. Direct kick. Uh, McCauley taking a kick? No. It's number two, ain't it? Oh, the other captain. Trombley. Take it in! There's a Shay Z name, Trombley. Yeah. A few of those in Ellenberg, too. Right, right. A few of them. <laughs> Get in! Stay on! Nope. Hey. Sends the ball right back into the 18. Smart. Ooh. Back a little bit. Good thing he got the good balance. A couple of Shazy attackers right there. That's off the head of number 14, McAfee. Jutting in. Battling with Trombley. Trombley able to clear it away. Warwick gets there. 
before Connors could. Oh, he even looks like his father. He got a close up now of him. Ork. Connors trying to send it to space. McCauley with the ball. Battling with Nephew, I believe. Number 21. No, that's Devin Burnell. The nephew kid's number six. Jutton in. Loses the ball. Morris sends it to the outside. Got offsides, Colin? Yep. So he's putting his hand up. Okay, keep coming. Hey, keep coming. Come on. Turn around. Stay compact. You got a little stretch a few times. Okay. Collins picking the ball up at midfield. Collins watched by Jutton and Reed. He taps at it to the inside. King. Well interested. Ooh. Lashway. Got a lot of foot into that one. Thirty-eight gives it back out to Lashway. Lashway and Hunter. Bayshard. You're waiting for the figure I'm just gonna call him Hunter? <laughs> oh why can't I just call him there? Cody's got the ball. <laughs> Cody's losing the ball though. Perrier. That's the ball, Cody. There. No foul. Trying to make the move inside with number five for the Bobcats. That was Greg Boris. Now King. King. Being watched by Perrier. Swing and a miss. <laughs> but a good cross there by King. And the Bobcats got to send it over the end line. I think we got a corner kick. I don't know. Finally a signal from the official. Looks like uh, Mr. Hamilton was looking at Mr. Varon for some help there. They had a bad night here. It's a little cooler than last night. And was, good thing there's no wind. And very little movement in the flags on the corners or the flag on the flagpole. Trombley. Or is that no? That's number four. Moak. Trombley's a little shorter. <laughs> Hayden King. There's nephew for the Bobcats. Taps it to Perrier. Perrier looking for a teammate. Number five had been Boris. Gives it back to Perrier. There's a handball. No call made. That's fine, Hunter. Work gets ahead on it. Ball was kicked up the field by Bayshard. Is that McCauley? Yeah, number five. Battling with the Bobcat defenders. I think Cody Perrier. Midfield. Possession. Picked up by number 14, McAfee. Shay Z still with the ball. Moves it to the outside here on the right side. Bayshard. Being watched by Lajway. Lajway. He gets by him. Pass into the middle is blocked. Look a little late on that pass. Reed Lajway able to recover and sends the ball out of bounds. It'll be a white throw. Oh, we got a girl, Jason Balls now. From Redhead. Just ran by. She's fast. Hey, gotta win the first one. Underlay, underlay. Remember Speedy Gonzalez? <laughs> Arriba. <laughs> Big game Hunter Bayshire with the throw in. I think it was Cody Perrier getting ahead. Trying to head it out of harm's way, but Morris puts it back in and Bobcats moved up and caught the Shazy Eagles off sides. Huh? Been to get in. Oh yeah, he's probably cold. Just standing around there, he got to move his feet. Well, there's been the Bobcats, you know. Shazy's controlling the the play, especially the offensive end. And any chances, any time the Bobcats seem to get close to the Shazy net, Shazy defenders. As a group, 
They're keeping them away from that keeper, Mr. Norcross. Connors. Ooh, he's got them neon green shoes, too. That makes you faster. Remember when you got new sneakers when you were a kid? You were running up down the street. So, yeah, I'm faster now <laughs> with these new sneakers. <laughs> I guess you get some neon green ones. Pick up the speed. Left Robin with two of the grandchildren. She was watching them. <laughs> the two year old, Caleb. He's a terror. <laughs> And Carter, the five-year-old, and they were playing strikeout. <laughs> I left. Robin was running to first base. <laughs> Caleb hit the ball about four times in a row. Wow. Yeah, and it was like chopping wood every time he hit it. <laughs> Juttonen, can he beat him? He's got some speed. Oh, overruns the ball, and then there's that cheesy teammate. Oh, 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 that was a cheap shot right there. Number 14 stuck his leg out. But I must admit, I've done that myself. <laughs> I think it was in a hockey game, though. <laughs> we played hockey, you know. Had town team hockey. We played against Shazy in the field house. Four minutes, exactly. Dylan, uh, Dylan. I was going to say Dylan Lashway. <laughs> it's Dylan Chase. Finally. Bobcats get a possession of the ball when it goes out of bounds, and Cody Lambert, who's been standing in front of our position for about oh, seven minutes, if not longer, he gets back in the game. Dylan Chase is out. Collins beating uh, Lambert to the ball. Lambert's going to apply some pressure to Bayshardy, but he heads it over to his teammate. McAfee, uh-oh. Connors, alone, shot. Ooh, he's got a rocket for a shot and sends it high and wide over the net. Score remains 1-0. Late stages of the first half. Wild Bill Chase, Calvin Castine, along with Damian Nevada, Rob McAuliffe. Oh, they're the coaches. The officials, once again, are Mr. Hamilton and Mr. Barron. Then you got the Shazy Eagles and Northern Ireland around that boys varsity soccer teams. Juttonen, losing the ball. Comes down, it was on the ground. Ankle, a little, got a little twist in the ankle, I think, there. But he's recovering. Slowly moving back up the field. We got another corner kick. One shot on that for the Bobcats here in the first half. Five shots for Shay Z. They got four corner kicks. Bobcats don't have any. They got one saved by the keeper Norcross and four saves by the keeper Smart. Gonna have a lot senior night activities at halftime. No, usually it's pretty quick. It's senior night here, Jay Z. Two minutes and a half. They just announced it. Drown B. Over to Hunter Bayshard. Perrier kicks that ball out of bounds. Off in the foot. Getting it away from the foot of McCauley. It was Chris Gondek. Oh, then there was PJ Gondek too, right? Yeah, he's older. Oh, yeah. Played with Rob. Oh, McAuliffe's older too now. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> My impersonation of McAuliffe now, Rob McAuliffe. Hey, 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 when he was an NAC player, was it, well, it was Casper Labarge, right? <laughs> oh, he was doing his fat Albert. Yeah, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Kelvin, you're getting into that cartoon <laughs> <laughs> reference again. <laughs> Go out, come on! 
Yeah, but you remember who the voice of Fat Elber was. <laughs> no, no, we can't mention his name. <laughs> right. Hey! Okay. Damien Nevada showing some emotion there. <laughs> Rule number one, Mr. Hamilton, never apologize. It's a sign of weakness. <laughs> Count it down. We're going to have a one nothing score. Shazy on top of the Bobcats here. Boys varsity soccer action on hometown cable. Wild Bill Chase, Calvin Castine will be back after probably a 10 minute break. Where's the bathroom around here? Uh, so we can hear Corey Thompson is announcing the seniors. Hunter Bayshard. Macaulay. Carson Wallfield. Carson is joined by Aaron, Paula, and Chris, and stepmother Kelly. Hosler. McAfee. Brian 
by Sarah Spurlock and Tim. Nathan Trombley. Nathan is joined by Sarah Lynn and David and his grandmother Sandy. I want to thank Sandy Tavernay for becoming a viewer patron tonight. It's people like her are making this possible for the rest of you. So if you see Sandy, thank her for supporting Hometown Cable. We have Senior night's going on right now at Northeastern, too, and Judy's there because of the Hollister family. Yes, yeah, so I think the only senior family we have at Northeastern, the immediate family that covers us, and we have no immediate families. Kyle Cajon. Kyle Cajon, we have no immediate families here at Shay Z, uh, but for seniors. Kyle is joined by his parents, Randy and Mike. Kyle Cajon. So uh, we have... Uh, some grandparents here and there who support us, but uh, as far as immediate families, we have only for the Cougars, only the Hollisters, and here it's a Shazy and none. So, you know, folks, we're, we're here for your kids. And yeah, it would be nice if uh, the Shazy families would be here for Hometown Cable. We'll be back with the second half in just a moment. The birdhouse. Okay, name me something with a long neck. <laughs> Giraffe, ostrich. You've heard of long neck goose, right? Well, I was watching a new version of Family Feud. They didn't they didn't come up in the top 100. Long neck goose. Was draft. Uh, somebody, one of them, one of them answered human. Yeah, <laughs> 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 uh, they were. Uh, uh, that was unbelievable. Anyways, we're back to second half action here. Senior night. The seniors were honored from the Shazy Boys soccer team. A little ceremony going on. Calvin got that on camera. Wild Bill Chase. And Calvin Castine for Hometown Cable, your ultimate high school sports network in Clinton County. Macaulay Slips, on, working, nephew here. Haven't said his name much, but uh, he's on the side of the field now. We recognize him. <laughs> Dylan, uh, Dylan, here I go with Lashway again. Hi, Sam. <laughs> and Dylan. <laughs> Dylan Chase it is. He's got my last name, and I'm calling him Lashway. <laughs> I'm going to get in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> that side of the family. Oh, well. Won't be the first time. Dylan needs a speedster, but I don't know if he's played a lot of organized soccer. Casper LaBarge. Taps it to Perrier. Perrier trying to swing it to the outside. He does. Who's that? Number 19. Zach Miller. I could hear the fans calling his first name. Gonna help me out, you people. You can say the whole name. Yeah. <laughs> it helps. <laughs> Shazy enjoying a one-nothing lead here, going into the second half. That's Hunter Bayshard on the throw-in. Bring the ball over this way. It's harder to recognize you people. <laughs> As we had a foot on it, but it was taken right back by uh, Lucas. Heath Lucas. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you just you a little dyslexia. You're looking at things and getting older. And eyesight's not as good. <laughs> Collins picks up the loose ball, steps around Perrier and Labarge. Gonna scoop by nephew. Yeah. It, Oh, looked like he still had possession, but nothing. But McAuliffe, he'll take that free kick from about 
24, 25 yards out. <laughs> Setting up on the near post is a keeper smart. Stepping up to take the kick is Nathan Trombley. Smart directing the three-man wall for the Bobcats. Trombley. NAC in there. It's up off the post. Rattling around. Is it in the net? Yes, it is. Mill. It was a scramble. I think uh, Smart's down on the ground. Rattle, uh, came down off the top of the post. Stayed in bounds. And not quite sure who banged it in. Smart ended up on the ground. Some of the NAC defenders looking at the official. I don't know if they were thinking that maybe there was an offside there, but you can't stand flat-footed. Number six. That's Heath Lucas with the goal on the off the scramble. He gets it unassisted. It's a two nothing lead for the Bobcats. Work on the back pass from Cody Perrier. He sends it up to midfield and shows the people just there. Lambert. Looking for Juttonen. Hunter Bayshard's there. Collins now with the ball. Collins taps inside to Morris. Morris sends it up, but uh, Work is there for the Cats to clear it away. CZ has always played that control, short passing game. George Brendler style, right? Get the triangles going. A lot of talk. Move the ball to open space. And when you're teaching them since they're two years old, <laughs> it eventually pays off at your high school level. <laughs> Outstanding program they got here at Chazy. I heard they won a state title. Yeah, a couple times, right? Yeah. What'd they do last year? I don't know. Did they make it to the Final Four? Did they make it to the Final Four? Keep tracking, Brian. Keep tracking, Brian. They lost in the playoffs. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I've gotten, so, I've gotten so used to that they're winning it all the time or something. They're making the Final Four. It's like, okay, they're in it again. <laughs> Hunter, Hunter. <laughs> like the Yankees, right? Right, and then you check the weather. <laughs> <laughs> Tristan. That's out of bounds. Casper Labarge fortune Tristan Connors. Gonna hand it off to Nephew. Lambert. Short pass over to Labarge. Labarge. He's gonna hug Mr. Morris a little bit. Casper to friendly Labarge. It's called for a hug. <laughs> Somebody over the NAC yelling at terrible. I don't know about that. I disagree with you on that one, buddy. You can't toss the guy to the side. <laughs> Tom Lee. He started off that second goal with a free kick. We got a handball on Connors. Mr. Smart comes up, takes the kick. Is that Lambert, 14? Yeah. He's only a freshman. Tall freshman. Make sure he's playing on the basketball team this year. After soccer, we got indoor sports coming. Hockey, Calvin, your favorite indoor sport in the film. <laughs> Come out and do a hockey game with you. Girls hockey. Girls? They got girls hockey? Oh, yeah. What is that? Trip. The rink. Oh, I ain't going there. Oh, yeah. Did you, you film inside? <laughs> or, the, <laughs> on the ice, yeah. I get right out there. No, you don't. That's a cold rink. Hey. Well, the Z, uh, the Northeastern don't have girls hockey, do they? Northeastern, Shazy, and Beatman Town team. Oh, they're all three schools? 
Well, geez, they should be like national champs with all three of them schools. They won, the, they won it a couple times. Ray Gay is the coach. Okay. And there's another guy that kicked me more. <laughs> another scramble. Shot blocked by, uh, I'm not quite sure. I think it was number five. That's Boris, I believe. That's off Cody Perrier. Uh, looked like a handball. Not called. Juttonen. Hunter steps around. Uh, Hunter. Juttonen getting tripped up. I'm going to get a call. It's getting a little chippier now here in the second half. 32 minutes left to go. Cody Perrier will set the ball. Is it Perrier usually up front being an attacker? Or are they trying to bolster their defense? But Cats are down 2 nothing. Bowers got a foot on it. Lambert can't use his height to his advantage there. You got a dangerous play on who? I don't know. They look that high. Hey. And they had oh. possession. Okay. It's a dangerous play. All right, both coaches agree on <laughs> that call. <laughs> both, and then the whole team. Uh, Hold the cameraman. <laughs> and and the, the coaching, whole coaching squad of Shazy is backing Damien the batter. <laughs> That's a high kick back too! <laughs> Damien, concentrate on your players. They ain't gonna do you no good, buddy. A little frustration being taken out on Mr. Hamilton. Been there, done that. Juttonen, somebody over there in the NAC fans telling him, sounded like Todd Lambert. You gotta go up green, you gotta go up green. He just gave up a corner kick. Uh-oh, you guys are going to run laps now. <laughs> That's the first one of the night. <laughs> Chapman and uh, number nine, Wallfield, waiting for Shazy to go into the game on the corner kick. Lambert. Oh, just over the top of the net. He had that corner picked. If he wasn't so tall, he would have made that one, Bill. All right, Cody Lambert, the freshman, getting a good head on the ball. He's just too tall. Too tall, Lambert? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, McCauley and uh, the goal scorer, Lucas, come out of the game. Wallfield and uh, who did we say the other guy was? Uh, Chapman. Chapman. I'm glad you remembered. Alex Chapman. Everything you say, I remember, though. There's the keeper, Norcross, in his fuchsia goalie shirt. Yep. Says he's been wearing it all year. Oh, up, Alex. Oh. Alex. Chapman with the ball. Chapman trying to switch fields. Ball's loose. But picked up by Shazy in the middle of the field. Collins. Trying to tap it through. Warwick's there to clear it away for the Bobcat. To... Now Chapman again with the ball. Taps inside to Morris. Morris can't maintain control. Chapman picks it back up for Shazy. Knocked out of bounds by Mr. Nephew. Shazy will take the throw in. Tristan Connors coming over. We got under about 28 minutes left here. Here's a shot put in by number, I think, four, Moak. Eli Moak. What's that song? Eli's going to get you or something? Eli's coming. Eli's coming, right? <laughs> Eli Moak, he's a coming <laughs> at you. Live and in living color here on Hometown Cable. Remember that? Live and in living color <laughs> on TV. <laughs> 
Oh, they're burning something over in the eagle nest. <laughs> Uh, they got wings over there. Uh, Timmy, Tim Ryan, he can make some good wings. Him and him and uh, who's that? Sandy Talaski. What's that? They have some some fishing derby or something in May. What's the name of that bar? It's changed. The Pike? Yeah. The Happy Pike, that's what it is, right? Yep. Uh, the event they have, and I think it's Memorial Day weekend. Yep. Is that Pike, is the bar even open anymore? They got a different name on the bar down there in downtown Chazy now. It's never been the Happy Pike, it's always been the Weathercock. Oh, that's it. I thought it was, yeah, but I thought that changed now. No, it's still the Weathercock. Well, what's that other bar I see down there? The cattle Barn. Yeah, the Cattle Barn. All right, the weathercock and the cattle barn. Okay. And Drew's cornfield. <laughs> Barge, that skips by him. Chapman picks up the ball for Shay Z. That's Wallfield. Shay Z on the attack, number seven. King. Hayden King. Shay Z. Uh oh. Squirting through. Smart comes out, makes the save. Offsides. No goal. He's gonna have to bend on the shot. It was offsides. The keeper put his hands on it. Good stuff, boy. Keep it up. Keep it up. So that goal is negated through the offsides call. Well, from our position, we gotta agree with the referee. <laughs> we can't tell. Wait a minute, they didn't put that corner kick up on a board yet. Oh no. For the Bobcats. Oh, let's get this out, boy! <laughs> we got three shots on that. Illegal throw. McCauley's back in. Who's he taking out? Aiden King. Tristan thought he had a goal. They move him. Away! Kristen Connors. Touches outside to Chapman. Chapman watched by Dylan Chase, Cody Perrier. Did you hear that whistle I just... Calvin? Yeah, I was saying a word and I got a little whistle come out of my... And I didn't do it on purpose. <laughs> Jutton in with the ball. Taps inside to Lambert. She had the best scoring chance for the Bobcats tonight. He headed the ball over the top of the net. His shot is blocked by a Shazy defender. Squirts out to Chase. Chase goes back to Lambert and he tries to put the shot in there, but it's cleared away by the sweeper. Nephew off the side of his head and out of bounds. McCauley will take the throw in for the Shazy Eagles. Seems like I've been able to learn uh, Shay Z names rather quickly, don't you think? Yes. Well, they got their feet in the ball a lot. <laughs> Maybe that's why, eh? <laughs> I seem to have a tougher time last night, actually, than I have been tonight. Maybe that cool temperature waking me up. There you go. The Yankees don't play till eight, though, right? I thought it was seven thirty. I don't know. Uh, John Coyer at halftime was saying eight. Well, he knows. He's, he's sports. Yeah, Mister. Press Republican retired sportsman. Billy Dernan, he sent an email to the sports, uh, or actually to the Press Republican. Uh -huh. He sent it to Courtney Lewis. Well, I was talking to Sue Moore, and she said, well, she left about two years ago. 
so that's why we didn't get it. <laughs> okay. Uh, there's a handball. You were sending in an email in regards to the Lime Mountain Fire Department. Finally got their money from the Sam's Grant out of Betty Little's office. That's the Lime Mountain Fire District. $100,000 for put towards their new ambulance. Send that to the sports department? Well, it's the only email he had in <laughs> Press Republican was Courtney Lewis. <laughs> How about Bob Getz? Oh, well, Bob Getz, uh, first, is it his first wife? <laughs> Sue Getz works at the Press Republican. <laughs> She's in the classifieds. Advertising. I've dealt with her when I've had to, when I'm advertising for the church dinner. September 9th next year, folks, 2018. Put that on your calendar. All right. St. Bernard's. Turkey dinner. I invited the bishop, Bishop Terry LaValle. Saw him up and... Save a plate for Noreen. Oh, no, no, Noreen Barco, how you doing out there, Noreen Barco? She was in Lime Mountain going to 4 o'clock mass last week. Okay. Yeah. She was coming up for the spaghetti dinner they had at the Legion afterwards. Want to be the first in line. Right. <laughs> I told her I invited the bishop. Actually, I told the bishop to bring her or bring her with him. <laughs> That's on his way. <laughs> Chapman with the ball. Oh, what do we got? Oh, we got another free kick. Trail official Megan Ankal. Didn't the bishop used to have his own driver? He used to, yeah. That's yeah. when they had to. <laughs> when they had more priests? <laughs> personnel to hang around. All right. Now he's got to do his own driving? Yeah, his own driving. All right. Well, he's not that old, anyways, is he? He's in his 60s, right? Uh, he graduated in 74. Oh, he's only a year older than me. So he didn't even collect his social security yet. <laughs> That's tapped out of bounds. That's Eli's a coming moke. Hayden King waiting to go back in the game. Hayden, your father kicked me when we played soccer against each other. You tell him Bill Chase said hi. <laughs> oh, you're the guy he kicked. <laughs> I'm just one of many. Come on, come on, White, come on. Lambert gets it under control. Jutton. They've kept him in check tonight. Jay-Z defense. He scored a hat trick the last time he played. And Saranac Lake had the lone goal last week against the Willsboro Warriors. And big game, Hunter Bayshard making a run down the right side. But he's cut off. Got a push called. What's he calling? I don't know. It's against NAC. Oh, my God. That's for 10. That's work. Yeah. That's a make them work. That's right. Make them work. Make that call. I, yeah. If you're going to, yeah. That's what I was thinking. It's the same thing exactly, Calvin. Look, they're right there. <laughs> they're, both, they're both small 10. It's a goal. And I think it's Chapman, number 14, off that free kick. It's 3 0. Shazy, 1832 on the clock. Okay, picking up the assist on the direct, uh, took the direct kick, Tristan Connors. Sent it in, and Mr. Chapman redirected the ball into the back of the net, using his head to do so. Nephew on a 50-50 ball. McCalla out muscles him. Can't get around Warwick. Warwick with them long legs. 
And we're going to have a yellow card here somewhere. On who? I'm not sure. Mr. Nephew. Okay, NAC gets a yellow card and maintains possession. I guess uh, something happened off the ball that Mr. Barron picked up and the rest of us, well, we'll have to wait and for the post-game show if we can get the explanation. <laughs> Stick around. <laughs> Stick around, folks. Tonight's post-game post, post is going to be brought to you. Uh, our host is going to be Clark Herdick. <laughs> Clark Herdick and uh, Randy Lozier. No. Rivard, what was his name? Rocket, Rocket Rivard. <laughs> is he still around? Glens Falls. Glens Falls. Move down there. Yeah, daughter's down there, so he moves closer to his daughter. Oh, okay. Well, Rocker's up here with Clark Hurdick for the post game show. <laughs> Big game, Chase G, North of Adirondack. <laughs> they flew him in. <laughs> he hits the ride with the geese for the flying north. I think it's Lake George that they're in. Oh, it's been a while since I've seen Rocket. Hey, better than that. Come on. Go ahead, Frank. I stopped in. Uh, I'm going to need a new eye doctor. I'm going to. Use uh, Clark Herdick's daughter. To the first view, uh, associates or something? I don't know. She's in with Pepke. Is that Pepke? Pepke. Yeah. Pepke. Yeah. The two Pepkes. But they made the appointment with Clark's daughter. So the Pepkes, they made a trip. Well, this game, this game is gonna. Well, good thing it's a running there. They don't stop the clock on every call because yeah. the calls have just seemed to increase here. You know, in this second half. That's fine. That's three. That's three. Good. Slows it down for the cameraman. Slows it down for the cameraman. Alex, Alex, get in the wall. I'm gonna ask him for ten. Kyle, get out. Get out of the wall. Come on, Barry, got to Well, you can't argue with Jimmy Barron. And that's it. in the cornfield. Okay. Tonight's Into the Cornfield is brought to you by Jerome's Poultry. <laughs> Fresh eggs laid every day at Jerome's Poultry. Poultry. Do they do business with Aldi's? I don't know. Do you ever get Aldi's eggs? They seem to be, the large always seem to be bigger than anybody else's large eggs. Really? <laughs> <laughs> eggs? This time of year it should be on the cheaper side, price wise. I think the last time I bought them at Aldi's they were 73 cents or something, wow. a, do a dozen. But then I bought some eggs uh, on sale in Price Chopper. You know, them special kind that supposed to be cage-free or something, organic. Oh! Paid two fifty a dozen for those. Whoa! Hey, get back, it's hard! Cody Perrier taken out. My number seven, I believe it was. Hayden King. And they see mounting a little bit more offense here in the second half, but fans are excited though, Bill. Yeah, they are. A lot of yelling and screaming going on over there. I'm sort of glad that they're where they're at. <laughs> 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 and we're over here. A little, bit, a little bit larger crowd here tonight than we had last night. Chesting the ball down. 
was number 14, uh, Brian McAfee. So Tristan Connors has a goal, right? You know, and number 11, Chapman. Who's the other goal scorer? You remember? Yeah. Good job. I don't know. I can't remember. Is it Hunter Bayshard? No. I don't know. Check the tape. Check the tape. Martell, number one. We got number 30, Parent. And number 12, Juno. Oh, that's back of the net. Keeper, smart. Moving to his left, the ball was headed back towards his right. He had a hand on it, but makes it four nothing. Eli is the coming. His smoke is coming out of the game. Smoke is out. King is out. Bayshard is out. Uh, number 24, Lauren goes in for the Eagles. And so number 16, 14 from who? So McAfee picking up the goal. Number 16, Ence Collins is out. And Hayden King's got the assist. And you see, giving up three goals here in the second half. They're down by four to nothing. Just under 13 minutes left. Mr. Uh, Nevada, he's going to send in four subs himself. So the Class D powerhouse, Shazy Eagles. How much time we got? 12, 27 and counting. So now i got to learn these new kids. Lauren, he sends it across the field. Hostler can't get there. Stepping up. Okay, who's the that number of kid? I don't know. Ball squirts by Casper. Labarge. 13. Hostler. Craig Bullers, number five, trying to keep him in check. And there, uh, Shazy now. Total control. This ball game up by a score of four to nothing. Chapman came off the bench to get the third goal. It's tapped out of bounds. Subs going in. Cody Lambert's out. 22, uh, Christian Ganya. Chutnan's out. Reed Lajway, number 16, Jacob Allen. Who's in the game eight? Dixon for the Bobcats. Come on, White, come on. Trombley. That's a run right into the hands of the keeper, Norcross. I don't know. What grade's Trombley in? Trombley, number two. Great senior. Senior. Senior Trombley. Maybe we do have a viewer supporter on the Eagle side. Oh. Just one? <laughs> How many? Seniors, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, there should be more. There's nine of you. Start making your donations. <laughs> George? George Bendler? You know? Got to talk to them about well, Calvin and Hometown Cable. Cody Perrier. Had to grab it a jersey at number 12. That's Juno. I knew a Juno. I worked with that Bear Hill. I forget his name. A little short guy. Gary? Yeah, that's it. Gary Juno. Yeah. Is he still around? Yeah. <laughs> yeah still around. Isn't his brother in a band? Rolling. Yeah, one of them plays in a rock band, Juno. Yeah. Kevin Juno, yeah. Yeah, Roland does too. Roland, I don't know. I never met Roland. Roland Parker. Oh, that's Raleigh. <laughs> Roland. Rolla. Rolla? Rolla Parker. Rolla, R O L L A, Rolla. 
Oh, okay. Ra la 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 la. Tra la la la, Parker. <laughs> it's a Josh Parker. He works at Bailey Motors. Somehow he's related to Walla. Josh Parker works at Bailey Motors in Malone. He married a girl from Standish. Work. No, that's Boris. Heading the ball down. Well, we could talk about anything else besides the soccer game now, right? <laughs> Hunting season starts when? I don't know. Not this weekend, but the following weekend. Lasts for 44 days. I read that in the paper. So that's almost, that's seven weeks or six weeks. Six weeks. Six weeks and two days. Extra two weekends. Extra two weekend days. Seven weekends. Seven weekends. I think the hunting season of Vermont's only two weeks. Really? Yeah, I believe so. That's all it is. Two weekends. Or maybe three weekends and two weeks long. We could talk about what, what area codes we know. <laughs> Remember, folks, you got to dial 518 now. Well, not really. What do you mean, you're not really? If you're calling Vermont, you're going to have to call... No, oh, well, okay, okay, Kelvin. And if you're calling Watertown, you don't dial 518 either. <laughs> Pot stand, it's 315. I used to, uh, I was working at uh, Upstate and Bear Hill, and there was the 315ers and the 518ers. <laughs> Depended on where you lived. Yeah, how come in Vermont they got 802 bumper stickers? How come we don't have 518 bumper stickers? You know. Shot and the scores. Ball bouncing. Chapman, Chapman again. McAuliffe, you better take him off the bench a lot sooner. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it was a disciplinary problem or something. <laughs> Probably not. No, I don't Well behaved young man. What a goal scorer to boot. Got two goals tonight. What's that new area code one now we're dialing 518? Uh, I'm, I haven't had to use it, so I haven't remembered it. Oh. Uh, well, my phone system at the uh, town of Danamora sometimes, well, you know, you can hit the button to redial. Well, for some reason, some phone numbers are, it's not programmed, I guess. Got to reprogram it so it'll include the 518. I tried to dial 4927267 today. I hit the redial and it came in as 518, but when they dialed out, it went just the, left the 518 out, and so I get that recording. Much time, Bill. Much time. Six minutes and counting. What was that chant before the game? Hey, what time is it? <laughs> it's, it was game time. Chasey Eagles huddling up. Get back! Be safe, Jordan. That's fine. Okay, that was uh, Jordan, get Jacob back. Allen, number 16. A little shoulder to shoulder contact there. Number one. Jordan would tell. Get in! Preston, get in! Second corner kick of the night. Uh-oh. They're going to have to run laps tomorrow. Had sent away wide. And they only recorded now is the first one. That's the second quarter kick for the Bobcats, son. We got a real good statistician up here. <laughs> Down all the way to two. All right. 
This Norcross kid, he ain't very big as a goalkeeper though. What grade's he in? Junior, I think. Junior? Yeah, he's down at the bottom of the list. He's a junior. Smart, way out. It's outside the penalty area. Jacob Allen touches it. Oh, they move Warwick up to the front <laughs> a little bit. Warwick. Oh, Rattel making a nice defensive play. Mora now. Boris taps back. That's sent back at the Bobcat defenders. Hey, Trent! Who's number eight for the Bobcats? Well, that's Dixon. Well, I got to go to Hanford after the game, pick up some milk. <laughs> Need some half and half for my coffee in the morning. Oh, I should uh, have to call. What's his name? All the way to for that. Yeah, well, I guess I could stop to the local store, eh? Ah! Oh. Ah! It's going to cost you an extra dollar. It's cheaper than going to Plattsburgh. Well, I guess. Stop at the store today, Rock and Chasey. It's your half and half. Or I could go to the family right family dollar in Altona. They got milk. They must have half and half. And they see Reed Lashway send it in. Keeper. Bar across. He got red hair. Hey, Jordan. I think he does, eh? Jordan. Okay, Brian Norcross. You know that red hair you used to have? Well, your son's got it now. <laughs> my wife tells me my hair's whiter after four years of being town supervisor. Look what happened to Barack Obama. Yeah, he got all white. Yeah, well, eight years, you know. Became an old man. Well, uh, you know, I could sing my, th I could sing my theme song. Oh Lord, it's hard to be humble when you're perfect in every way. <laughs> I can't wait to look in the mirror. I get better looking each day. What do you think of that song, Calvin? <laughs> oh, don't be losing that. I think I seen the Boston Boone goalie the other night going out and getting the puck and got beat by the offensive player, wide open net. You see on Sports Center about the American USA soccer team? They had 93% chance of making the World Cup. <laughs> They're out. They lost two to one to Trinidad, Trinidad what? Tobago. Yeah, Trinidad, be Tobago. Be okay, be yeah, that was interesting. Got that 19 year old, plays for the Americans, run over to Germany, play soccer. I was on the Polish national team, based out of Lion Mountain. <laughs> Thirty-four seconds. Five nothing's the score. Wild Bill Chase, Calvin Cast time for Hometown Cable, your ultimate high school sports network in Clinton County. We're here at beautiful downtown Chazy at the Chazy High School's varsity soccer field. Warwick's gonna take the kick, send it towards the net. Gonna try to preserve that shutout. There's a shot. No, it's cleared away. I thought it was a shot. Smart come up. Count it down. The keeper. Send it back towards the Chasey net. And goes over to the end line. And the Eagles prevail over the Bobcats by a score of five to nothing. With only what? One nothing and a half? 
And four unanswered, four, well, five unanswered goals for total. Congratulations, Shazy. And AC, watch the tape and learn. <laughs> Wild Bill Chase, Calvin Castine. Have a good night, folks. Remember, say your prayers and stay sober out there. Drive, drive slow. Snow's just around the corner. <laughs>